hey, since Easter is right around the corner, I thought it'd be really fun to do this Easter Bunny drawing painting. I got this idea from Deep Space Sparkle. They do a lot of cool art projects on there. For this one, you're just gonna need some paper. It can be drawing paper, watercolor paper. I even use some computer paper. And you're also gonna need some Crayola markers. Now, they need to be Crayola washable kind. I tried some other kind and they did not work for this. So you'll need some just regular Crayola. They can even be a little bit dried out and they'll still work as long as they still can get some marks. You're also gonna need a paint, a paint brush and like a little cup of water. All right, let's get started. Here's a couple examples for these ones. This one I used a black marker and in this one I just used a blue. And even the black kind of has a blue tint which kind of looks cool. This one I was just playing around with and I added some other colors, some green marker and a pink, like a little Easter egg. And this is just on computer paper, so nothing too fancy. The watercolor paper is nice to work on because it can hold the color a little bit better. All right, so I've got my watercolor paper and I always like to print out um, pictures to kind of help me figure out what I want to do. So I found kind of a step-by-step -step bunny. I found this picture and I found this picture. So you can kind of decide what you want to do. I'm just going to do, go ahead and do use this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use the black. I usually, I don't know, for some reason I like to start with the ears. You can start with whatever you want. Just get it sketched out. And your lines can be sketchy. In fact, for this project, sketchy lines are actually going to be a good thing. If you want to draw it out in pencil first, feel free to do that, especially if you're worried about making mistakes because once this marker goes down, you can't erase it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our paintbrush and our water and just gonna dip it and just take your wet brush and just watch how that paint just, or the marker just starts to bleed. You can spread it if you want to. You can just let it leak into other areas. You don't have to go over your whole bunny. I kinda of like to think about it like shading, like where do I want the shading to be? You can see this is a pretty quick way to do this kind of a thing, like with the shading. Make sure you don't paint everything, leave some things blank. You can even take a paper towel and if you want to, you can even lift up some of the color if you feel like it's too much. Like maybe I want this face to be a little bit lighter. Maybe I'll just kind of 
I want there to be a little bit of color, but maybe not too much. So just kind of blot it a little bit. And then I've got some grasses here. I did some little shading underneath the body, underneath the feet to give it a little shadow down there. And see, I'm just kind of using the tip of my brush to make these grass grasses so they're not just all solid. Now I want to do some more grasses in front of the bunny. So I'm just going to take my marker again and just kind of add some in front. So it looks like he's kind of sitting in a little patch of grass. So I kind of waited till do that after I got that the bunny wet. So that way I wouldn't just smear all around it. And I could add a little bit of water with my brush to blend that in. And look how cool it looks when you're done. And you could add other things if you wanted to, like maybe I wanted to have uh, maybe a tulip growing back here. So maybe I would grow a little tulip. Because in the springtime you see tulips growing, so I just kind of make a little tulip here. Maybe I'll have another one growing over here. You could even have one over here. I like to do things in like threes, so it's nice to have three tulips. And tulips are kind of simple, so you can do them pretty easily. You could add color. I'm kind of liking this to stay with just this black. A little black and kind of a black and white type picture here. I don't want to smear that eye. It's kind of tricky. See, I'm not going to fill in my whole tulip, just a little bit there. Maybe I want my leaves to stand out a little bit more on these ones, so I can come back and just add a little bit of dark. So this is kind of a fun Easter project that you can do, and you can do lots of different ones. Try different bunny poses, like I had my pictures over here. I had. Maybe I want to see that one's kind of this one. It doesn't look exactly, but I just use it to help me. Then you could do, you could pick a different one and try that one and see how that one looks for you. All right, so that's pretty much it. I hope you try it and let me know how it goes.